Hello, this is Kevin from EaseUs. In this video, I will show you how to clone a hard drive using EaseUs Toto Backup. This is useful when upgrading to a new hard drive as it will migrate your current operating system, applications, and all of your data without having to reinstall everything from scratch. And to get started, this can be done with just a few tools. And the first thing you need to do is connect your new hard drive to your computer. For this step, you will need your new hard drive, a SATA connection cable, and a screwdriver. So disconnect your computer and carefully lie it on its side, and then open the case. And once it's open, you can connect the SATA cable to the port on the motherboard. And then connect the cable into the SSD along with the power line. And there should be a few uh, free power lines in the computer case for you to use. And make sure the drive is properly connected as shown there. Uh, and once you're done, use a screwdriver to screw in the new hard drive and have it stabilized. And the next step is to initialize the hard drive. To do so, open the computer management app and select disk management on the left. If you are not immediately prompted to initialize your disk, you can right click on the new disk and select initiate. You should select the same partition style as used in the source disk. If you are unsure, you can right click on the source disk in disk management, select properties, and the partition style can be found under the volumes tab. All right, now we are ready to clone the hard drive. So open up EaseUs Toto Backup, which was installed on your source drive. And once it's open, use the navigation bar on the left and go down and select clone. Select the source disk, which was your original drive, hit next, and then select the target disk, which is the new hard drive that you just installed. And before you proceed, select advanced options, and if it's an SSD as in the video, select optimize for SSD. And here's a preview screen for the upcoming clone. If the target hard drive is not a newly initialized drive, make sure all data is saved elsewhere as the process will erase any existing data. The speed of the cloning process varies based on your hardware and operating system. On average, it runs at about 100 gigabytes per hour. You can select the option at the bottom to automatically shut down your computer when the clone is complete. If your drive is very large, it would be a good idea to run the process overnight. The final step is to change the boot order in BIOS so that your computer boots from the new hard drive. Restart your PC and press the key needed to enter BIOS for your computer, then go to the boot section. Thank you for watching.